it's a travel day, so. That means packing. We're gonna time ourselves and see how quick we can do it. And I'm set, go! Well, we've already started a bit. Well, I haven't. Anything do? Success. I'm gonna get changed because I'm still sweating. I had started packing a little bit just for a little clothes. Yeah, he was ahead of me because yeah, he had already started when I was out getting coffees. But that took us 13 minutes and 25 seconds. Not bad. It's rolling that clothes, it takes a while. So we're all packed and today is like actually a pretty long travel day because we have a big layover in Miami. And we are actually heading back to Canada. We're Keith and Deb, and we're two Canadians traveling around the world. Yeah. We're now in the square. Beautiful. Most recently, we've been traveling around Colombia, from south to north, and it has been wonderful. Today, sadly, we are leaving, which means two flights, two lounges, two cars, and of course, lots of confusion. I think we smell that. <laughs> what? That's so why. <laughs> Subscribe to follow along. As it is a travel day, we will also be seeing how many cups of coffee we drink today. So, this is number two for me. Cold coffee. It's actually really nice. It's also my second cup. I got delivery of the cappuccino from the coffee shop because I was still sleeping. We said bye to Alyssa and Max this morning really early. Bye, guys. Best of luck. Yeah, we're gonna miss Colombia. Oh my gosh, this country stole our hearts. Yeah, like if you watched our we're back where we started. Like literally this is where we stayed the first night. We and, just like, drove by the same street we like I we know, got here on. Like if you watched that first video, we were so nervous, but oh my gosh, there's so much kindness in Absolutely. this country and Absolutely. it's just so wonderful. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I'm looking forward to being home and all that stuff and seeing family, but Columbia has my heart and I'm excited to go home. Parents are checking their bags. We're gonna head through security, so we'll see you on the other side. Hit the lounge. Made it out. Success. Stamped out of the country. Now there is a lounge. Let's see if we can get in. We made it into our first lounge of the day. It's called VIP Salsa Lounge. Doesn't seem like anything fancy, but I Salsa. I think it's called. Salad, isn't it? Like salad salsa. VIP, like room VIP, VIP room. Oh, maybe. Salsa. I like salsa better. Kevin is dyslexic, and it's been a problem. <laughs> but no, it has. It's been a theme been. of our videos. Um. Anyways, we're gonna go check out the food because although Keith had a lovely croissant this morning, there was nothing gluten free. So I'm gonna go get something to eat. This is very elaborate, and there's obviously some options I can have, which is great. I was not expecting this. Look at all this food. It's huge. And for a second, we thought it was sold out, but we are the only people in here. Just because there's a sign on the door that said sold out. <laughs> no one else. Okay, I didn't really drink my second coffee because it was cold and harsh and I didn't have time. We were leaving. So this is my third coffee, slash two and a half. <laughs> I'm gonna get another one in a bit too. Coffee number three today. All coffee is good coffee. Also, we got access to this lounge specifically through our priority pass, which we got automatically with our Amex Platinum credit card. So if you're wondering how we're getting into these lounges for free, that's how. Here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just drinking some water. <laughs> We're about to board. Passport and boarding classes. This bag and my bag over here always work for going in the overhead. They're always allowed in the plane. We love them. Speak design. Our affiliate links below if you want to support us too. I love tucking the straps away like this, just casually. So it slides in nicely. No loose straps. Look at this fit. And in this bag, which I'm always carrying around, which takes like our drone, our camera gear, all this other stuff, apples right now and a Coke and batteries, slides nicely on the side. I still have room for my feet. One more to go. 
And so, just like that, we've made it into the U.S. We actually have to go through customs, and you got to enter the U.S. because they're high security. And, and then we have to go through security and re-enter because our gate was really right close to where we got like off. right exactly where we got. Off. We'll see. Maybe we don't have to. We'll we gotta see. do all this again. Ah oh, yes, connecting flights, the arrival section. <laughs> uh, now I gotta go through security. Why? Go through security. Okay, yes, yeah, so we have to go through security. Yeah, I don't know why to do that. That's kind of um, annoying. So We're leaving Devin's parents. Yes. Going to the lounge. We're they have lounge access go. somewhere else, yeah. I think. But so we go don't worry about that. Because the it's the nicest lounge we've ever been to. And rarely do we get the chance to go to them. Okay, so it's extremely busy here, but we did find a table, so we're not gonna actually like film the lounge very much, but we'll show you what we get to eat. So we're quickly gonna get some food and a drink because we have about half an hour and then we're We don't have that much time, but if you wanna see what this lo lounge looks like, we actually stopped here on our way to Columbia, so check out that video right there. Well, it seems like we have ourselves a full dinner here. Like there's some chicken, I have orso and sun-dried tomato, butternut squash, a pesto tomato, and then an arugula salad underneath. And then polenta puree. I'm not usually a guy for, that likes polenta, but why not try it? I try everything. And then a dessert cookie and a lemon mousse. And there's wine and beer too. So this is a full on like restaurant. So I got us some champagne because we're here and we can. And then I pretty much got the same thing as Keith lots of veggies and chicken. And I'm really excited to eat. It's really busy in here though, so there's a long line. I also got soup. This is pretty cool. Mmm, well, this is actually really good. I figured if it's done properly, it could be pretty, pretty good. Sort of like eggplant. Okay. We got red wine with dessert. I won't eat the bottom, but I tried the top. It's so good. It's like. Is this gluten at the bottom? Yeah, I think so. Anyways. Lemon mousse. Probably some of the best wine I've ever had. This is so fun. But we literally have 10 minutes left and we have to go. We gotta like go to the other side of the airport. Maybe it's over there we gotta go to. <laughs> I hope not. All right, let's go. All right. Okay, we have a bit of a 20 minute walk, <laughs> which is pretty far. Honestly, that was so worth it though. That was such good food. That was a full on dinner. That was amazing. Let the walking begin. Speed walk, speed walk. Pants, my pants. Like I said, best travel pants I've ever had. And I wish I had them earlier, but I have them now. So if you want a pair, the link's below. D40, we're going we keep, to D... We keep passing the driver guy, D50. D51. Um, we keep passing the driver who drives people, and he's like, you sure you don't want to ride? He's really nice. It's kind of funny. The Sky Train is closed right now, so that's why we have to walk this far. But it's our exercise for the day, so it's all good in the hood. Even at Toronto Pearson, I don't think I've ever walked this far in an airport. <laughs> it has been 10 minutes so far. <laughs> I just got the notification on my watch. We have officially walked a kilometer within this airport, within the international terminal. <laughs> minutes and 30 seconds. I'd say that's pretty good. Pretty far. And we walked, according to my watch. Pretty quickly, enough to sweat. One kilometer and 200 meters. <laughs> okay, so we are now starting to board. We are in groups nine, which is the last boarding Because crew. we're cheap, so we always get like the cheap flights, <laughs> so we're like the last tickets and stuff. And so it said automatically you have to check your bags. Because we this flight's tiny and it's the smallest one in the air, um, American Air Airlines fleet, thank you. Anyways, so what's gonna happen is my parents are earlier and they don't have bags because they checked there, so they're gonna mm. take our backpacks so they get up in the bins. The hacks, people, the hacks. <laughs> Some hacks, <laughs> so don't have to check them in because I don't know, like our bags are fragile, we have laptops and stuff. So, <laughs> anyways, so that's what's happening. Hey, Andre, Lori. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> They're getting on now. We're just <laughs> chilling and waiting. I feel so light. This is super weird. I know, there's nothing. Super weird. I have my mom's bag. So on the way here, we risked it and we did get on with our bags, but mom and dad, we owe you. They're on the flight with our bags, so thank you. <laughs> right, two things. By risk it, we just mean we walked on with our bags even though they told us to check Ran them. on. Ran on, yeah. We just ran past them. But also, 
it wouldn't have been the end of the world if we had to check them. Like we there know it's going things. to Toronto. It's more just like we like to have our bags with us because that's how we roll. We're carry on only people. <laughs> We're almost done. I don't really know if like our backpack should be deemed uh, worthy of being thrown in the in the compartment below. And, we'll but. never know. But real MVP goes to Andre and Laura Labrie. Thank you for bringing our bags onto the plane. I've got Luke and Dakota's snacks that we're bringing home from them from my parents, so I have to make sure not to squish them. Maybe we see them. No. I don't want to jinx it yet, but I'm going to say we may have got the only plane seat. Oh, there's someone coming, maybe not. There might be even a missing. Just kidding. We definitely didn't. It's a full flight. There's two more people coming. See, I jinxed it. Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> We're waiting. I mean, our seat is the only available seat on the entire plane, I think. I think we saw that. <laughs> what? <laughs> not so high. <laughs> I hope not. That's a weird, weird, weird thing to say. We were like, you no one wants to be said them. More like no one wants to be like you. <laughs> it's your seat, not mine. Oh, please, please Sounds like the boarding is complete and we got the extra seat. I don't know how this worked out for us. What a day. What a day. I never get the window seat because Keith always films that I'm smaller so I always get stuck between the people. So this is exciting. Now I get some separation. Finally a break. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it was too good to be true. There's some coming. There's some weather. We keep thinking there's someone coming on and then they don't come on. I think I can move over. The lights are good. All devices can be used during all phases of the for all calls. As I'm window gal, that means I will be taking the videos of our takeoff and landing, so we'll see how this goes. From Miami to Toronto, flight time scheduled for two hours and 47 minutes. So there's actually a reason why we're heading home. It's a big reason. It's a big reason. Don't worry. You're gonna we're find out in the next video. And it's just briefly. Oh, hello. Nice bags. We're, we're, the, we're these. These guys have reached another level of YouTube. We, they have now bag carriers. <laughs> good. That's good. Okay. Our next thing that we're doing is quite different from what we have been doing, but it will involve these two again. It's gonna be a project. He's got a big axe. Yeah, my photo didn't work. Silly man. Could be the mustache. <laughs> we did it. We're back home. That's so fast. Hooray. We have the little piece of paper. She swipes it. She says, welcome home. We gotta wait for Andre and Lori's baggage now. Carry on only, people. Nice. Ready to go. Thank you very much. Step one, pick up the car. All right, we got a two and a half hour drive home. So that's what's next. It is almost one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Oh my. It is 3.51 in the morning and we made it back home. We're sleeping in Alyssa's bed because we missed them. Actually, no, just because it's cleaner than our room. <laughs> Devin, Devin said we sleep here, so that's how it is. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed this travel day. Wild. And don't you worry, this is nowhere near the end of our travel adventures. We oh, just no. have something we have to do at home before we hit the road again. So That's right. You'll find out what that is in our next Stay video. Stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. See you soon. It's gonna be super shaky, crappy footage. It's so rude. <laughs> if you're watching this blooper, please vote below that my takeoff and landing shots and our flight in the air shots were as good as Keith's are. Thank you. In the comments below, please say, Devin, you took great shots on the airplane. That was real.